The US dollar managed to close the Friday session with gains. Traders are still fettered by fears of a second wave of the coronavirus. Currently, the virus is raging on the United States, Brazil, South Africa and India. Besides, Beijing and Seoul have recorded the dozens of new cases in recent days. The governments of both countries had to reintroduce stricter measures to curb the virus spread. The US dollar hit a three-week high near 97.60 amid a risk aversion. The greenback also managed to extend gains against the background of geopolitical tensions between India and China. Yet, it's unlikely to sustain its bullish bias as market participants are now more resilient to negative news. Beijing and Delphi are preparing to hold talks to settle the border dispute. Moreover, concerns over the resumption of lockdown measures in the world's largest economy have been eased. Donald Trump assured investors that the White House did not intend to reintroduce the quarantine restrictions. The dollar yen pays trading in a narrow range. Technical analysis experts still see a signal for a downward movement to the first target at 105.90 and further to 105.40. The Federal Reserve did not provide support for the American currency. At the end of last week, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell sent a letter to Congress with a request to allocate additional funds as part of the economic relief plan. The bill was signed by 150 leading U.S. economists who voiced concerns about the election standoff between Democrats and Republicans. The House of Representatives, controlled by Democrats, has already passed the bill, but Republicans and the White House have subjected this bill to the harsh criticism. Therefore, many investors doubt that the letter signed by Powell will somehow improve the situation. This is why traders do not factor in this event. The Australian dollar gained momentum amid market uncertainty. It's now trying to break through the level of 0.6900. Technical analysis experts think that the LDUs pair will not be able to grow higher. It's likely to resume its downward movement and decline to the level of 0.6680. That's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.